All right, you guys have seen Pac-Man before, I'm sure. But have you ever seen it on a tiny little arcade? What? Gadget Jeff. What do we got here? What do we got here? Official Pac-Man arcade. Do 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 do. Coming in hot. All right. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, oh, let's adjust the cam so you can get first person view of package unboxing. I love opening boxes. It's like Christmas. New toy. Come on, baby. Get out of the box. Ooh, Pac-Man. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna dump this little bastard. Oh. That's called suction. And there we have it. Pac-Man by Numskull. Numskull? Numskull. Now I've been really excited for a while for this thing to arrive. It came all the way from the United Kingdom. So, so let's go to my living room, unbox it, see what this thing's about. Time for the official unboxing. Here we go. Open her on up. See what we got first. We got a certificate of authenticity. Only about 10,000 of these limited edition Pac-Man quarter size arcades were made. So we got a little certificate for that. We got an instruction manual. It looks like in multiple languages, full color. We got a little, uh, what is this? Like a collectible coin looks like. Yeah, collectible coin. I'm gonna have to take that out and take a look at that. We got here, it looks like a power uh, USB cable. The actual hoorah itself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oop, there goes the box. And there she is. Quarter scale Pac-Man arcade. Whoa. Now, as you guys know, I have a few arcades, a pinball, and downstairs we got my massive MAME arcade. But unlike those huge boat anchors down there, this thing is actually small, light, and cute. This is actually a quarter scale replica of the original 1980s Pac-Man arcade game. All right, on the back of the device, we have our volume control knob, our battery indicator light, our micro USB charger port, and uh, on off rocker switch. So let's turn that guy on. As you can see, the marquee turns on. Starting to boot up. Even the boot up process is like the original, if you ever saw it in the arcade. Really cool. Now just like any arcade, you have to add a credit to play, so you push this button. Makes the original sound, which is cute. And then we're gonna press the start button. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see a little bit better. Get my arcade stick in there. And here we go. Now, Pac-Man was never a game I was particularly good at. It was actually kind of stressful for me. I don't handle stress that well in life, and uh, this game was just <laughs> sometimes a little, a oh, little stressful, but fun. These little suckers chase you around. Now, I have to admit, the uh, arcade, whoa, the arcade uh, joystick response is really good for being how small it is. It takes a little bit of adjustment to get used to... Uh, it, but once you get it, come on, sucker. There we go. Come to daddy. There we go. This is where you get the points is when you can get back at him. Oh, no! Actually, I'm doing quite well. Oh, no, get me out of here. 200 points. Uh, 400 points. I mean, never this good at playing it. But you know what? Practice makes perfect. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of them here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You guys didn't know Gadget Jeff was a gamer. Damn, I might actually get the entire, the entire, no! Oh, that was that. Now, first off, my overall impression of this guy is great build quality, I have to admit. I wasn't expecting the build quality to be quite as nice as it is. The artwork on the sides are actually embedded and not just a sticker. Even the fine print instructions of how to play the game are right where they were on the original. Now besides the fact that it has an exact color scheme of the original, it's made of wood, which is nice. I thought this thing was gonna be plastic, but no, wood. 
All right, I'm quickly gonna go over some of the features of this little arcade machine. It's got 100% accurate emulation running the original arcade ROM, which is really cool. It's got a five inch TFT screen with a four by three ratio in full color. Uh, let's see, uh, I already said uh, replica wooden shell and shape. It's got reverse air vents with wire mesh, high quality embedded decal showcasing the iconic artwork. Uh, let's see, it's got a built-in three watt speaker with volume control located on the back of it. An on-off rocker switch, which is also located on the back. A built-in rechargeable lithium battery for portable use that's supposed to be good for up to four hours of playback, uh, depending on your usage and volume level. Uh, it's got an LED backlight headlight banner or marquee. Uh, it's got a micro USB powered, uh, it's micro USB powered for convenience of use. So if you guys have a like portable power bank, you can run this a portable power bank and run the arcade that way. I've had this guy for a few weeks now. It's been a blast playing with it. Uh, my girlfriend and I actually sit it up on two player and play it in the living room. And she's actually quite good at it. Not gonna lie, there is some competition there uh, between her and me. I also had a birthday last month. I turned 36 years old. <sighs> Getting up there. Getting up there. But uh, I threw a house party for myself and I had about 35, 40 of my friends over. Uh, threw this big nice house party. I had DJs, had the hot tub going, the fire pit going. Luckily Seattle's weather was holding so it wasn't pouring rain. But I actually brought this guy out, propped him on the, uh, the, the table in the dining room and had a lot of friends playing with it all night. Made, made for a lot of laughs and uh, it was it was just cool to have this little thing out ready for people to play. Now this little mini arcade will run you about 189 which I do feel is pretty reasonable considering the build quality, the gameplay, the artwork, the attention to detail. 189 ain't that bad. If you know anyone that's Pac-Man lovers and you don't want to buy them a full-on huge Pac-Man arcade, check out the minis. Now the company Numskull actually has a few other quarter scale mini arcades including Galaga, Dig Dug, Space Invaders, all of which were games I played growing up and I love. They have a place in my heart for sure. I'm thinking maybe I'll have to collect the entire series and have like a little mini arcade set up. Wouldn't that be cool? Well guys, hope you enjoyed this week's video on the Numskull Pac-Man mini arcade. Any questions, comments, concerns, what not? Please leave them in the comments section below. I respond to all comments and I love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share with your family and friends if you feel inclined. Anything and everything is appreciated. I'll be back next week. Hope you guys have a good one.